Hello everyone. Let's see a gift I have for you guys. Now I'm gonna show you a new add-on that I built on top of this script. It's text to light. The intention of this script is to generate HDRI images to use as environment with a text prompt. So let's see. How do you do? Let's go to the preferences and install the add-on. Text to light and get the zip file, enable it, and it's going to show some options here. And you need to, you can use a virtual environment that already exists. Those new ones on Sab Stable Diffusion or Sab Dream Booth, they are compatible. You can try to use the same virtual environment. To do that, you choose custom environment, choose list, and when you point to the folder that you have your environment, you can select uh, another environment that already exists. For example, if I want to use the Stable Diffusion to try to reuse some of the installation or maybe try to not to use too much space, you can do this. You're going to use this folder, but you must press Install Text to Light on VM so it can update with the packages needed for this add-on, which it updates the torch package and add a few more. But let's do it from scratch. Let me create a new folder. And do it from the start. I'm not going to use a custom. It's going to use the text to light 39env. So I'm going to create Let me see the console. That's very important. So we can see it better. It already created. Let's install the packages. It's going to take a while. Here you have the statement that you can close this window, so you can do it. It means that the installation has finished. If you have some red information, usually it's an error. Just get in contact with us at our Discord or Twitter, but usually it works fine. Just close it and leave the Blender console open. If you don't have it open, you can go to the window, toggle, system console, and it will show. And we have the environment created. We installed the packages. Now we have to import the models. I made a pack with the all the models needed in a 7-zip file. You just have to select, in this case it's text to light models dot 7-zip and import. It will take a while too. It's a big file, about 6 gigabytes. Just wait for it to finish. It's gonna hang a little bit the window. You're gonna see it not responding. So that's interesting to have the console open so you can see that when it finishes. You see Finish it, unpacking the files, and Blender is not freezed anymore. Now we can collapse this window. We're not going to use it anymore. And 
we can start writing our prompts. Let me add a single cube here. Let me go to the render view. You see here you have nothing. You can create a prompt. I'm gonna write a simple one. You can write a more complex if you want. City Daylight and press execute 4K it's going to create a 4K HDRI and let's follow what happens here. Oh, one more thing. From what I notice, it needs about 12 gigabytes of VRAM. You can see how it's how it is the use of VRAM here on this graph. You can see that it went above 10 gigabytes, so maybe it will only work with 12 gigabytes or more VRAM if you have a card with more than 12 gigabytes. I didn't test with smaller cards, you can give it a try. Now you can see it finish the process. And to see the result, we have to press Use HDRI. It's always going to get the latest HDRI that you've created. You can see here, it's very bright. We can decrease the brightness of it on the Strength option. And we can create a new one. For example, Farm with snow. process is done again to see the result you can press use HDRI and now you have a farm with snow now, I hope you liked it if you can support us please go to our patreon and see you soon